Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to be asking our panel some questions um, about their world and how they use WordPress. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and have the panel introduce themselves, say a little bit about who they are and why they're here. Hi, my name is Sunny Tucker. Um, I'm 16 and I blog. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alicia. I'm 13 years old and I blog with WordPress. I love WordPress and I love connecting with people and sharing my story. Hi, my name is Alyssa Fernandez. I'm 12 years old and I'm here because we were actually, well, because of this kids panel and our mom is speaking here and so are we. Yay! <laughs> Hi, my name is Anna Tuttle. I'm 15, and a couple years ago I did a uh, presentation, but this year I'm just coming to enjoy, and I blog with WordPress, obviously. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask the first question, but if you could just repeat the question. Oh, okay. Um, do you publish content online, and if so, what type of content do you publish? Okay, so the question is basically, do we, con do we publish any content online, and what do we publish? So, uh, should I answer first? So me personally, um, my blog is mainly just about like things that happen to me in my life and how I'm reacting to them <laughs> um, with like funny photos and stuff. Um, so I mainly just publish stuff online to make people laugh. And I also, now I'm focusing more on like social media aspect. So yeah. And yes, I publish online. <laughs> So I do publish online. Um, I have a blog called Holy Art, and I publish things to help kids become better people and deal with the changing world around them. Yes, I publish online. I am with my sister at holyart.com, and um, basically what I really love doing is sharing my message because I was bullied in elementary school, and I like helping kids embrace themselves, love themselves, and have self-esteem and confidence. So I publish online. Um, I actually started my blog to keep up with my extended family who live very far away. <laughs> so, And also <laughs> as an outlet to get out feelings and thoughts that I had that I didn't really feel like telling anybody else currently. So um, yeah, I definitely publish online. <laughs> Awesome. Um, so the next question is going to be, what methods do you use to push your publications? Do you tweet? Um, you know, you guys have talked about your blogs. Um, but what do you use to get your blogs written and then get them published and out there? Um, I actually don't use any kind of marketing at all. Um, I just, just word of mouth, friends tell other friends and stuff like that. So. Well, since this is WordCamp, WordPress, obviously. <laughs> um, well, I, well, I'm on all social media, Tumblr, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, you name it. I just love putting stuff out there, creating graphics and images to go with my blog posts. So my sister and I publish with WordPress, and we do all social media, like you said. Um, when I started publishing on WordPress, I was like eight years old. So at that time, I didn't have any social medias. So um, it was mainly just like a thing to connect with like my grandparents and stuff and tell them about my life. Um, so I haven't really, I don't really use any social media to um, like spread the word about my blog. Um, I probably will in the future, we'll see. Um, but I haven't yet, so we'll see. Okay, so the next question is things that you prefer to use. Are you guys mobile or tablet users, or do you prefer desktop? And with that, what type of third-party apps are you using when it comes to your WordPress blog? Are you using any type of plugins and things of that nature? So it's kind of a two-fold question. Um, well, I just, I really only use a laptop. So, and I don't use any plugins. I'm WordPress hosted, so. That's it. Well, I like using my laptop too. I feel it gives me accessibility and I like uh, typing on a keyboard. Um, well, some things that I use is CoSchedule. I use that to, for my headlines to make them pop out and make sure my, um, my readers and my target audience, that will make it more appealing to them 
It's coschedule.com slash headline dash analyzer. And I also use Canva to create graphics that I pair up with my blog posts. And sometimes I do infographics and things like that that are really fun and really easy to do. I mostly use my laptop to publish things, but I also some occasionally use my mini iPad, where I conveniently have the WordPress app. Uh, for me, it's kind of both. Um, as far as most social medias like Instagram, Twitter, which I mainly use Instagram and Twitter, um, I definitely use mobile. I love mobile. Um, so then I can just like carry it around with me, especially at conferences like this at WordPress. I'm like always like scrolling my Twitter feed. Um, but then for other things like definitely publishing on WordPress, I always do it on my computer. Um, and then stuff like Tumblr too. I just like the way it, it looks better on my, on my desktop. So I usually use Tumblr on my desktop. But I also have it on my mobile in case of emergencies. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we talked a little bit about what you guys are doing in the online space. Let's talk a little bit about how you get there and your process. So when you start to write a new blog post or push something out and publish it, what is the thought process that you use to get to the final product? Well, I go through a lengthy process to write my blog post. First of all, it starts with the idea. Usually I just do a, put an idea to paper and create a brief outline of the main points that I'm going to be covering. And then basically I do r my research, I read books, I go on Google, I look for statistics if I need them. And then I do kind of a brain dump, I write down everything that I want to write down. And then I or spend the next, the next few minutes organizing it and editing and kind of polishing it and then after that I I do my images I do my headline and then I'm just ready to publish well for my blog posts I research I look for quotes and statistics and also other people's outlook on on the topic that I choose to be blogging about because I like to have a broad variety of Perspe perspectives. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for my blog. And then I write everything down and kind of put it in order. I do Canva images. Then I do my headline. And then I ask my mom to be my proofreader and check to see if anything is missing. Then I publish it. And then I do the web promotion. Uh, for me, um, a common theme in a lot of my WordPress posts on my blog is just different stories that I've heard. So usually it's on like a TV show that I watch or a movie or a book that I really love. Um, so for me, when I'm writing blog posts, it's usually just like, like she was saying, like brain dump. Like <laughs> I usually just write everything down. And then sometimes when I'm in the middle of writing a story or writing something that happened to me, I'll think, oh, this makes me think of this such and such thing that I saw either on the internet or in a TV show or something. So then I'll get like the gif of that and like put it in the blog post. Uh, so I'm always putting pictures and stuff. So I usually do that and I write, just write a lot and then I'll go back and edit and proofread and do everything. Um, and then I just post it and then after I post it, I'll like go to people I know and be like, oh, hey, check it out, like my friends and stuff. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, I'm one of those instant gratification people, so I kind of write and then hit publish and then go back and go, I want to change this <laughs> and change it and hit publish. <laughs> and then, um, so it kind of depends on which, which, what kind of a post I'm doing. Um, so occasionally I'll write a poem and I'll write on my notebook paper and then just put it on my blog. Um, occasionally I will write, write, write on an assignment for school and send it in to my teacher and then put it on my blog. Um, if I'm doing like an update post on everything I've done in the past three months for my family, I will go to my journal and make an outline of everything I've done and then go by that and write my post. Um, my mom edits some of it, sometimes it goes unedited, <laughs> um, but that's pretty much my process. 
Well, thanks so much, guys. Um, so now that we've talked about what your process is and everything, uh, how often do you post your content? And what is the thought process behind that frequency? So usually I do it, I try to do it three times a week. Lately I've been doing it once a week, but I want to get back on track and be more consistent. Thank you. Um, for me, it's like, I am not saying this because you guys are so organized, but <laughs> for me it's like, uh, just when I have something I want to say, I'll say it. So um, usually it's like, every couple months it depends it really depends um but because usually it depends it um what i write about is something that happens to me so if there's something really weird like in a class or something that my professor said i'll like write about it um so yeah was, was there another private question i'm sorry <laughs> we'll see <laughs> okay <laughs> well the question was how often do I post, right? Okay. Well, I try to do three times a week too because our mom has a rule of thumb that we have three categories, so we kind of alternate on those every week. And um, I think consistency is key to how how you're doing your blogging. That the more often you publish, the more often you publish, the more people will want to come to your blog because they know stuff is there. Well, um, I'm kind of one of those bloggers again so I kind of just publish every once in a while um, I actually haven't published since November <laughs> I was a lot more frequent back before then um, and I just published for the first time like last week I think again <laughs> so definitely looking into getting back into that awesome awesome and I like that there's some differences there because it shows that there's not necessarily a right or wrong way to do things it's all personally what works for us um, so now here's the big question. How are your parents involved in the process of your blogging? And how thankful for that are you? So now I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> um, I'm definitely thankful for that. Uh, my mom is pretty much the biggest person who like edits everything. She reads everything almost instantly. Um, she basically really actually keeps track of the whole cyber security thing. So the whole cyber bullying and all that stuff. She's like that filter that like everything comes through. So that stops. Um, so that's really important. Um, so yeah, she just, she edits everything. Um, she reads all my comments. Who follows me? She stalks people who follow me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is true in some cases. <laughs> A few cases. <laughs> That's pretty much it, though. <laughs> well, um, well, what can I say about my mom? She's incredible, but all the things that we've done have been supported by her. The idea of blogging and of getting out there in the first place was through her because that's what she does and that's what she works for. And... Um, well, she edits for us. She has been our book editor as well. She has helped us in our, all our writing processes and in proofreading and making sure that everything is safe for the type of videos. She does all our comments for us on WordPress. And she is just our number one supporter and biggest fan. She reads all my blog posts and checks my Canva images to make sure everything is, is good on there. And I'm just really thankful for her. So thank you, Mom. I love my mom. She has always been there for me. And she proofreads all my stuff and makes sure that it's it's relevant and that I'm doing it right. <laughs> and also that it looks good as well. And she's always there for me. And she, of course, it's a pretty big deal that she even lets me blog. <laughs> so thank you, Mommy. Cool. Okay. Shout out to my parents over there. Woo. Because without them, I would literally not be here. So, uh, <laughs> so, 
So as far as my blogging process, um, it's actually kind of perfect because my parents kind of represent the two sides of blogging because my dad um, is like super computer whiz, like amazing, smart. And <laughs> so he's really good with the techie side of it. So I actually started blogging on one of my dad's websites called Miami Fun Guide. And it's basically like a guide to for people who are coming to Miami as tourists to different family-friendly places. So as a kid, I used to write like reviews of different um, restaurants, uh, theaters, different stuff that we would go to. So that's kind of what started me blogging because I got comfortable with WordPress and writing posts in that way. And then I started my own blog. And my dad is the one that like formatted my whole blog and made it look really pretty and everything. So, um, and then my mom is the other side of that, which is like the actual writing part, because um, I'm actually homeschooled by my mom. So she, <laughs> so awesome. Yes. All of us are homeschooled. Awesome. So, so she like literally taught me how to write. So both of them are huge factors. Um, as far as actually publishing, I mean, p um, writing posts, individual posts, um, I usually write most of the stuff and put the pictures and stuff, and then I'll just like run it through them to see what they think. And they're usually like, woo, like my, I, the only reason I'm blogging, well, not the only reason, but I would not be blogging if it weren't for them. So I'm super thankful. Thank you. Okay, so now that I know you're all homeschooled, <laughs> I can add a new question to my list. <laughs> As a homeschool mom who integrates <laughs> WordPress <laughs> into her curriculum for her child, is it integrated into your curriculum? And if so, in what ways? And if not, is there any way you could think to integrate it into your curriculum next year? Okay. So, um, yeah, it's integrated into my curriculum. Um, I just finished building a blog for our homeschool co-op. Um, for, like, the co-op wide, they wanted a blog to represent them on the Internet. So I just finished doing that, and that was part of my curriculum um, for just, you know, coding and stuff like that. That's, that's what I did for that. Um, and just coding in general is actually part of my curriculum. I took a whole class on um, C Sharp, so that's kind of... It's been part of my curriculum for a while, so, but WordPress is kind of like the way that I can utilize all that stuff. You know, it's one, one thing to learn it and then another thing to actually do it, so. Definitely. I think that's one of the biggest part of our curricu curriculum right there is writing and learning how to create content. Graphic design is something that I'm really big on and that I love doing and I'm particularly good at and um, just really learning how the how WordPress works. It's so simple and so easy to use, which is why I think it's so easy to love and so easy to learn doing. It's incredible, and I just love doing it. Well, our curriculum is really made up of different curriculums. It's very unique, and I love it. And, yes, WordPress, um, our blog, is part of the of our curriculum and we are learning how to write and one day we won't need mom's help um, with the writing. Huh? Oh, well we actually do proofread for our mom's blog so that's also training and it will help us when we're older so it is definitely part of our schooling. Yeah, I would agree in the same way. Um, whenever, um, whenever there was a specific book report or an essay or something that I really liked that I would write for school, I would post it on my blog. So it was kind of like an initiative, I guess, um, to kind of, because sometimes when you're doing school work and you're like, what's the point of this essay? Like, no one's going to see it. So for the example, when I would put it on my blog, I would feel like that it was like doing something, you know? So, and then also with Mommy Fun Guide, with writing posts and stuff, that was also like incorporated into homeschooling. So yeah, I would say it's a really big part. Okay, I, well I forgot to mention too, because I um, took a journalism class and I had to actually publish all of my stuff. And it was with FLVS, I don't know if you uh -huh. use that, but so um, it was with FLVS and I had to officially publish all my stuff, but not 
publish it, you know, like, so it all went on my blog. So, like, the whole world could see it and say, you misspelled that, or you forgot a comma there. <laughs> so that was, that was part of my curriculum also, so. That's awesome. Um, so when we're talking about posting out into, you know, the real world, for lack of a better term, um, with that comes social media and conversing with friends and things of that nature. What platforms do your friends prefer to use and are you trying to suck them into the WordPress world? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to suck them into the WordPress world, but maybe I should try doing that. I mean, I haven't thought of it before, but maybe they'd be interested in something like that. I actually, um, my friends use Instagram Sometimes we go to church and we see that our friends just followed us on Instagram and we're like, yay! I actually just got in touch with, um, well, we used to go to school and I s stopped at first grade, but I had a best friend in kindergarten and I just got in touch with her after a long time on Instagram, so that has been a big help for me and she uses that a lot. Uh, yeah, the ad, I would say definitely social media is such a huge part of my life. I would say even like the reason I haven't used my blog so much is because I'm on social media because social media is like tiny little blogs, like you know what I mean? So um, I, in terms of what my friends use, uh, definitely Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr a lot. Um, I heard that people don't like this, but I have to be honest, Snapchat is huge. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone uses it. <laughs> um, so that's definitely a big social media. Um, one thing that I don't like about Snapchat, though, which is better on WordPress, is that everything goes away really quickly. But on WordPress, everything's there. So you have the record of like your life, which is something I really like. So that's why I prefer like Instagram or Twitter over Snapchat. Um, as far as telling my friends about WordPress, I actually haven't as far um, aside from like sharing my blog post with friends but I am actually in addition to homeschooling this semester I'm taking dual enrollment classes here at FIU as a high school student so and I was actually really impressed because my professors um, it's a writing class and my professors are actually using WordPress as part of the class so it was amazing because all the students were like oh now I have to learn how to use WordPress and I'm like I already know <laughs> so, so it was great it was perfect so I'm I'm yeah so and coming to WordCamp in the past years and stuff I feel like like I was like the only person who knew WordPress but now people are using it like a lot more so I'm really excited well I think something yeah, Instagram and Twitter are really big among my friends. And actually, the same, no, I haven't thought of sharing WordPress with my friends. Aside from telling them, hey, I published this blog post, I think you might really like it, and telling them about my business side of things, I think it would be really awesome to start getting, letting people know that a blog is something that anyone can do. Yeah, and just to add to that, yeah, I've, I've kind of shared my blog post with all my friends too, but um, I've never... Um, you know, encourage them to blog themselves. I have considered starting a blog with my best friend, just like kind of like two people posting on the same blog, kind of like a cooperation kind of a thing, but um, I we haven't pursued that, so that, that would be definitely a good idea. And um, yeah, so as far as my friends and social media, it's uh, a lot of Instagram and Facebook and yeah, Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to say, um, a couple years ago, or maybe a year ago, I'm not sure, at a word camp, actually, one of my friends came, and she's here, <laughs> but, so I have shared WordPress with one of my friends, I forgot to say that, and I, I like, helped her set up a blog and everything, so I forgot I have shared WordPress with my friends. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay. We're actually going to do a workshop in Texas about how to start a blog for kids, so we're really excited about that. Cool. That's going to be fun. So we've talked about what you guys are doing now. We've talked about um, what you guys have done so far, and we've talked about getting your friends involved and stuff like that. Where do you see WordPress taking you in the future? 
And how do you think it's going to play a role in potential careers later on down the road? And I know some of you are younger than others, but that might be something that you're thinking about. It might not. And if it's not, you can skip. It's fine. So, anybody start? Yep. Oh, okay. 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 Go. <laughs> oh, me? Okay. Okay. This is okay. Uh, for me, yeah, definitely. I've definitely thought of it in multiple ways. Um, for me personally, I've always wanted to have like in the newspaper, like one of those like advice columns. <laughs> so I've always like, so I've always thought like, what if my blog could be like an advice like website or like either that or like a movie review website because I'm really into like movies and stuff. So those are ways that I'm thinking of taking my blog in the future. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll see again. <laughs> um, <laughs> But then, <laughs> but then another pra more practical career way that I might use WordPress in the future is that I personally, at the moment, I want to become a wedding planner. Oh. So, yeah, so I'm actually, I just got accepted to FIU, so I want to come here to study hospitality management. Um, so, that, with social media and with WordPress, that would be a huge way of like promoting myself like as a wedding planner if I become a wedding planner, because then I could write posts about the weddings that I do and everything. So I think that WordPress will definitely be a big part of my career in the future. Well, I have thought about careers a lot. And I actually wrote a book about careers when I was seven. So <laughs> that goes to show you. Anyways, um, I do want to be a writer when I grow up, and I already am now, so that sort of has set the foundation. And I also want to be a singer and an artist, which I am right now, but I want to take that to the next level. And I think that that could help me um, get the connections that I need to start my business doing that. Well, I definitely see WordPress playing a part in my future, actually. I pretty much have my life planned out right now. I know where I'm going to go to the col college and everything. And I want to major in English and um, because I really love writing, and it's one of my top passions. And I need to get in tune more of what it could do for me. And I want to be a blogger for the rest of my life, basically. When I'm a mom, I'm planning on being a mom blogger like my mom is and coaching people and all those things. So. So it sounds like I'm the odd one out here. <laughs> I definitely see in the next few years taking my blog to the next level, maybe doing some sponsorships or something like that. Um, as far as a career, I plan on majoring in marine bio, so it might work its way in there somehow. It might not. Um, definitely, I'll probably still blog about my life, you know, and keeping up with family and stuff. But um, as far as a career, not positive about that. But definitely, definitely will stick with me. So. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you guys. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for for your time. And and I know I know it's not easy to get up in front of people because I did it earlier today. So <laughs> um, so thanks for standing up here with me. So I'm not the only one up here. Um, but we do have time for at least one, maybe two, depending on how long it takes um, from the audience to take questions. So if there's anybody that wants to ask a question. Speak now. We love questions. Yeah. Okay. I came in wondering, I teach WordPress to adults who, who aren't using it, and I was thinking of teaching it to elementary and middle school kids. What would be a way to promote that? Like, what would get them interested? My, I have my adults' ideas, but what would be something that you think I could say to promote that type of learning WordPress to kids your age and a little younger? So the question for um, the video is what could be done to help get kids interested in WordPress from an educational standpoint? Correct? Okay. So something that would really, kids love to, like if you have long distance friends or family, then kids love to get in touch with them and not have to say hi to them once in a year and spend all that time getting caught up and then not seeing them in forever. So that would definitely be a way to look at it and also being able to express themselves more. 
Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Um, like that was like almost exactly what I was going to say. So I definitely think that that's something. Uh, yeah. So basically, one to connect with people. Definitely, I'm just like repeating what you said. <laughs> um, but yeah, to connect with people, friends, and then also just because a lot of people like kids. A lot of times, I feel like they think that like people don't want to listen to what they have to say. So I think definitely a way that could promote having a blog for a kid would just be to like share their ideas or share their art if they're artists or just to like to be able to be themselves like on a blog. I think that would be good. I think the biggest thing is letting them know that they can do anything they want. Not keeping them to a restriction. You have to blog about this or do this or do that or the layout or design has to look like this. Just let their imagination run wild and that they can do anything and the possibilities are endless. I agree with the connecting with other people as well and also what I heard um, saying about the essays and poems for school that it's really fun to know that it's going to good use and that other kids can see it out there too. I would say something um, like I personally journal. Um, for a lot of kids, especially nowadays, they don't like to write or in hand handwriting. Typing is much easier for them. Um, so I would see it as a journal of sorts that you could look back on 10 years from now and go, wait, I did that, or I wrote like that, or who says that anymore, you know, I mean. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's a journal of sorts, and it's, but again, uh, to somebody's point here, that, you know, you can say whatever you want and people won't criticize you necessarily. Um, you know, you just get it out and you're not talking to a human. A lot of people have qualms about talking to a human, saying something to their mom or their dad or their friends that they think, oh, they won't like it. Um, just, you know, post it on blog. It's, it's a little different. Um, so that's, how, that's what I think. Yeah. Yes. I know I And this is your last question, guys. No pressure. <laughs> Do you want to start? Sure, I'll start. Sure. I know it's my mom. <laughs> okay, I know what my mom wants me to say about this. <laughs> she already she already she already briefed me on this question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of joking about that, but um, so something that I could see would definitely be, could be um, paid attention to, I know that there are some fixes for this, um, is the cyber security thing. So the, the cyber bullying, um, that stuff does go on, it does happen, um, it could happen to anybody. Um, so just something, you know, definitely stay involved in your kids' blogs and their social media. Um, but is you know anything that will that will aid that aid aid in that not happening? So that that's one thing I would change. Okay. Well, I don't really see right now anything that I would personally like to change about WordPress. Just probably going back to kids doing WordPress, just advertising and marketing it more that kids can do it and that kids can share their stories and share their message because there are lots of adult blogs but kids can blog too and I would really love to see more kids getting out there and doing things like all of us are doing and just sharing their stories sharing their opinion and expressing themselves well I think that something that would make it a lot easier for me to publish a blog post would be if I could take those apps that I use like Canva and CoSchedule and be able to use them on the WordPress site. Like if I could download an app on the WordPress site and use it right there and then be able to upload my pictures and the things that I want to use in my, in my blog post right there. That would be so much easier because then I don't have to open new tabs and go here and then download it and then put it in my post. Yeah, the only thing I think that could be improved, which is already being improved, as we see with Kids Camp, um, just what she said about um, spreading the word to kids. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. There was 
a little girl in the audience. Is it Alicia that had a question? Alicia, what's your question? Oh, no, in front of Alicia? I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Ava, what's your question? Who wants to take it? Okay, Anna. Yeah, um, definitely. Anything you want, basically. Um, you can do, you can write a post with embedded, or like, I don't know if you know what embedded means, but like, you can put photos and videos in your post with writing, or you could even just post a photo. Like, there's, I've seen a, a lot of photography blogs and stuff that have just videos and photos, and that's your blog. So, um, yeah, I, basically, you can do whatever you want. Post whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you could also just do... You could have a vlog, which is a video blog, that you get a YouTube channel, and then basically you write up descriptions and make videos, and that's a blog, but it's a video blog, so it's a blog. Yeah. Everybody good? Do I have any other questions? Okay, we only have like five minutes till closing remarks, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap everything up. I want to thank you guys for coming out again. Thank the parents for letting us borrow their children. <laughs>